Okay, this is video two in the Raspberry Pi ammo can build. Today I'm going to go over um, how the power connections work. This is just an overview. I won't be doing any building, uh, but it'll help you understand what you're doing when you do build. So the components we're interested in are this 5 volt switch and the 12 volt power input. <clears throat> We are also going to be looking at um, this 12 volt to 5 volt converter, a 5 volt fan, the 12 volt battery, the 5 volt switch, and the Raspberry Pi, which goes right here. Um, you'll have to use your imagination. So, how this works. The, you connect a 12 volt <clears throat> 2 amp source. You want to limit it to 2 amps because it charges the battery and that's the max charging rate they recommend for the battery. Um, so power flows through this connector into the um, input terminals of this converter. From there <clears throat> it can flow to the 5 volt devices or it can flow to the battery. Um, basically the only thing controlling battery charging is the relative voltage levels. So if you start out your battery, your 12 volt battery is discharged to 10 volts and you plug in a 12 volt source, um, power will flow into the battery until it reaches 12 volts and then it will stop charging. Um, if it's at 12 volts and you plug in a, a weak 12 volt power source that's only at say 11 and a half volts, uh, the battery just won't charge. <clears throat> um, so <clears throat> that's how the charging circuit works. It's very simple. It's just a set of terminals. Um, on the output of the 5 volt converter, the grounds of all these devices are tied together, but the power goes up through this connector, through the 5 volt switch, and then um, when that switch is closed, these devices are turned on. <clears throat> so um, that's that's basically it. It's fairly simple and straightforward, but I think that when I was trying to explain it um, with this messy contraption, it was a little confusing. Um, you know, these are the five volt switches I'm talking about. This is that 12 volt power connector. And I think it's just not obvious looking at this, what exactly is going on. So hopefully when we do the next video where we build up the power stage, um, if you ever get confused, you can um, look at this document. I'll put it on the GitHub page and put a link in this video in the next video. Thanks for watching.